you know, one really exciting high school sport that really doesn't get enough attention is hockey. Well, it's coming on strong. Of course, when we were growing up, they didn't have hockey here. We had ice, but we didn't have hockey. <laughs> Strange. The Cleveland area can boast some of the finest high school hockey teams in the state. John Tellich takes a look at a team that just might have the right stuff to go all the way. The Cleveland Heights Tigers in dark are once again contenders for a state title. Their fans are hoping Heights can turn state competition upside down. A year ago, the Tigers opened up the season on fire, winning 30 games in a row before losing in the state championship game. This year, the Tigers did not get out of the box so quick, but still, they're 17 and two. I think that helped us because we knew if we didn't go in each game with a high intensity level and prepared, we could lose because, uh, I mean, North Olmstead's eight and 11 and they beat us, and Shaker, who we beat 10 to nothing, just beat St. Ed's five to four. So you have to go in each game prepared. Number 11, Seth Greenberg, could be called Green Blur. He is arguably one of the fastest players in the state. And Barley, shown tallying against St. Edward, is also extremely quick on the ice. Speed isn't the only weapon the Tigers have. How about size? Their defensemen are tough and reliable. Last year we played four, and we had last year we had three all-state defensemen. And uh, this year, after losing those three, we were rotating five. We've got two seniors right now that rotate every other time, and then I have two, three juniors that will rotate every third time. And everybody plays. That's one of the keys to the team is everybody's contributing. The Heights St. Edward rivalry has mushroom. It's intense, dramatic, high school hockey at its best. It's the last two years, five games, and all decided by one goal. So you can figure it out. Three overtime games in those, those five. Heights just might find itself skating against Eds in the state championship game. John Tellich, New Center 8, Cleveland Heights. Just last Friday, Heights knocked off St. Ed's 5-4 in overtime, defending state champ. So the power is shifting from the west side to the east side. Okay, thanks, Casey. Okay. Well, Dick says we can play hockey about anywhere we want to tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It'll be a, whole, a skating rink, an ice hockey rink all over northern Ohio. Rush hour tomorrow is going to be affected by uh, the weather, and it isn't going to be too nice. That front has gone by Fort Wayne now, dropped a quick one inch of snow. Again, it is moving steadily our way. Areas west of Cleveland will see the snow from the system, certainly before midnight. It may be 11 p.m. to midnight before it reaches the western suburbs or at least in downtown Cleveland. There you see the front of the west with the storm center off the east coast. You will not envy the folks in Miami tomorrow. They were 81 and thundery today. The Miami high tomorrow, 58 and windy. Chicago's high tomorrow, three below. They figure an overnight low of minus 17. There's the Arctic front moving through western Ohio. The heavy snow area to the east of here, snowing heavily in Boston now, still snowing heavily in New York. Don't try to travel, drive east into Pennsylvania or south into West Virginia tonight or tomorrow, and you will see now the temperatures begin to flood in there for tomorrow. Provide as much protection as you can for yourself and also for the animals. Uh, try to give them some shelter tonight. You've got a few hours to do that. Put some straw out for them. Protect them from the wind. Bedding of any kind, especially any old wool blanket or coat, offers good comfort. Plastic or cloth simply would get wet and stay wet, so help out the little critters as much as you can. For tonight, the wind's now light westerly tomorrow, uh, overnight and tomorrow northwesterly at 18 to 35 or 40 with gusts perhaps beyond that. Wind chills running 20 to 40 below eventually overnight through the day Friday. Arctic air moving in tonight, 12 on the thermometer squalls developing two to four inches of snow most anywhere by mid-morning tomorrow four to eight very possible in the snow belts east and south of Cleveland further accumulations possible Friday windy frigid local squalls flurries only 10 on the thermometer and tomorrow night zero to perhaps as low as 12 below where skies are clear for the day Saturday that high will move so quickly we may be down to just spotty flurries by then it appears now with some sunshine and scattered clouds at a high again around 10 but I think the winds also will be down and I think we'll be into the teens on Sunday into the 20s Monday and some snow possible by late Monday at 11 o'clock. We'll certainly let you know where the Arctic front is. You may know it by then. <laughs> okay, thanks, Dick. Rock and roll in the Big Apple. Martin Savage with the story after this.